Good morning, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and I thought this morning that I would do a little, um, uh, I'd follow a, a um, sketch right here where it says Teresa Klein at Mojo Monday, uh, the blog Mojo Monday, and she did a sketch, and I'm going to make this into a card because I have a card party coming up. And I thought this would be a good thing that we could try, and you could see how to make it just by looking at a um, sketch. So here we go, and let's see. I've already got the canvas up. So what I want to do, since this is a pretty simple sketch, is I'm going to insert shapes on this one. And it seems like a pretty easy one to do. So we're going to go like this and put it up, and I think I'm going to leave a little space around it, you know, like that. And I'm going to make it come about that wide, and go to the lock, unlock it, so that you can uh, use the space the way you want. And this is two inches and five and a quarter is left. So, 2.8 inches and five and, and, and a four and a quarter. So it's a little under half. Now I am going to uh, change the color of the square just by going square only because I find it much easier to tell the pieces apart. Now we're going to insert shape again and if I remember there was a circle. Now let's look at that circle again. Circle was quite large. Look at that. So we're going to use that circle. Mm -mm -mm, back to canvas. And we're going to make it quite large as it showed. And it showed that some of the circle went under. Went under the um, thing. So, okay, so we're going to put this one and we're going to range it to the top. Move to front. We're going to change the color of this and we'll make it white. No, we don't want to make it white because we're going to have something else. Uh, we'll use some type of... Uh, what do I want to do? I want to... Hmm, layers. The circle. And... No, I don't want to do any of that. Let's just put it like this for right now. Because I'm going to pick out regular paper and cut these things out on regular paper. Now, then we'll go back to here, and there's a big square that kind of sits in there, and then they stamp something in there. And we'll use, oh, and there's this too. Okay. Well, we got lots of things to do here. Let's get a square. Insert shape, square. And we're going to put it like this. Now, I don't know whether it goes on there or under it or what. Oh, that's because it, it shows at the bottom here. Let's take a look at it. We'll go right to the blog. Mojo Monday, the blog. Teresa Klein at Mojo Monday. Okay, it goes up a little bit. Now, I'm doing an A2 card. This shows it more like it looks like a 5 by 7 I'm going to stick with my A2. Okay, and um, let's change this black to white. And then let's bring this up a little. And let's leave that like that. Now, we need a banner. So insert images. And let's just look, I'm going to put it for my images, because I know I have a banner, and it'll just make it a little bit easier if I just search my own, because I don't want to pay 99 cents, you know, for a banner that I've already got one that I own, so. Okay, search, B-A-N-N-E-R. And it just takes a minute to search, I love that. Okay, we want a banner that goes across that way, so let's. Start looking for what we want. There's lots of nice banners we could use here. Hmm. 
<laughs> I just kind of want a straight banner, which is what they had. Let's just use this. Okay, insert image. We'll look and see if there's any more. That I'd have to slice. There's two. Oh, here we go, right here. Perfect one. Let's knock that one off and go with that. Insert image. Now that's perfect. Look at that. Except, of course, it's too big, but that's no problem. We'll fix that in just a minute. And we'll go across that like that. And then we'll put... Um, this is going to be a note card. I've got a couple friends and relatives that are very ill, and every week I try to send a card out to them. So we'll just use this kind of for a note card. And um, I've got a beautiful stamp. I'm going to make this a little bit larger because I want that stamp to fit on there. And um, we'll stamp that area right there. And then the whole inside will be for a card. So let's... Um, Go back to insert images and look for a flower. Flower. I hope this is still on mine. No. And here we got some flowers that I have. And we want something pretty, of course. Just like they had on there, something very pretty, but yet it was very simple. So I like the nice simple flowers. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find just the right one here. Oh, now we're, oh, here we go. Here's some more flowers. <laughs> this is kind of a cute one right here. I don't like the color of the leaves, but we can change that. I mean, the, not the leaves, the petals. And I think, oh, here's a couple more. This would be pretty, too. We'll try a couple of them, see how they look. And we, like I said, we can always change the colors of the petal. You can do it your own thing, uh, I mean, as far as your own papers. Or we can just color it and then do a print and cut. I think those will work that we've got there, don't you? Oh, well, here's a couple more. No, I think we've got what we're going to use don't know which one yet so let's insert images and they're going to come and sit right here and we can do this here or we could put this right here what do you think now let's look at this one and we're going to put a line through that. Oh, no, 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 we're not. I'm going to take that back. We'll change this to, I don't know, gold? No, not a gold. Um, somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. Do we like this? I don't like this color, first off. Layers, banner. Let's put it to that. And um, the flower. We can go that. Or we can go this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at this one. And let's change this to this, 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 this. this. 
Uh -uh. Like that. And change the center of the flower to something a little bit darker. Like that. Change the leaves to one like that. And this to the same thing. What do you think of that one? Let's look at them together again. This. I like this one better. This one here better. But the color's still not right. These are like little hearts. Let's see. That would work. Maybe we could put a big diamond in there or use some um, pearl. Or, you know what, uh, stickles. We can use some stickles in there. Okay, let's do that one. Now what I want to do is I want to take it out here. And I want to flatten. And see how the difference in color? Very nice. It looks like that. Now this will have to be stamped on. Now, for the inside of the card, I want it to look nice. I mean, we've got a lot of paper on the front. Um, we'll have different colors. I'll choose from my paper stacks. But on the inside, I also need to to um, do a stack. But I want to um, make it look nice. The one thing about Candy did that I just love. Candy used to be a designer here. And Candy used to always decorate the inside of her card. And I love that. Now let's get this as far as we can. Take the lock off and bring it down. Okay. And we'll make that the dark green. Just for purposes of knowing, oh, not that dark, this green. Yeah, so that they'll cut together and it won't take so much. And I want to draw the color from the outside into the inside, okay? And then let's take this and do another square. And we're going to go on the inside of this. And this will be actually where I put the sentiment on. Or my note. I always write a hand note to them every week. Matter of fact, I've got to get mine, mine out this week because I haven't gotten it yet. Shame on me. I have um, two cousins with cancer right now. And not good, bad cancer. And then I have one um, cousin that broke her leg, broke the femur bone, but broke it in two ways. So it was almost like a corkscrew screw break. She'll be off her leg for a year. Now, doesn't that look nice? And I'll stamp that one sentiment right in here. This will be an area where I can write a note on. But what I can do is let's take this and we're going to go up there and copy it. And we're going to paste it. And we'll take this, if I can get my hands on it, we'll take this. Let's just put it towards the bottom. And we'll just make it a little bit smaller and put it over here. So we've got some of that color on the inside too. And we're done. Now, wasn't that easy? And all we did was I used the canvas. I had the canvas up already. And when you put the canvas up, Oh, wait, you just click on here, and I clicked on cards, okay? So cards, and it's got that. But notice how there's no color whatsoever now. So what you do is click over here where it says Canvas, and you choose your color. And I wanted this light sour or sage color. Isn't that beautiful? And there we have another card just done that fast, and that'll be one of my card party cards. You have a blessed day. Thank you for joining me today. She's a sassy lady, and hopefully I'll get this cut out real soon. Bye now.